Willkommen auf dem Kanal. Mein Name ist Ben und das ist Training for den Berlin Marathon. Welcome back to the channel. You join us, me and Sarah, just over here. Uh, we, have, we have come all the way, all the way, it's not that far, to Berlin in Germany because, yeah, we've got the Berlin Marathon soon. But don't worry, uh, it's not yet. It's actually in about five weeks. But you just wanted to come to run uh, the course, see sort of the layout of the city, and just have a good look around to like, check where the hotel is, where the extra is, and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, it may seem a little bit OTT, but it's all these little one percenters that want to make the difference come race day. So yeah, we'll chat all about that. Uh, yeah, we've, it's about midday now. It is roasting hot, so it's not going to be the easiest uh, sort of thing. I just go and just casually run a marathon um, in the afternoon. But yeah, we've just got these uh, cool bikes. We're just heading out get Sarah a helmet because she's going to be cycling along and filming some bits and pieces as we go as well. So yeah, hopefully a little fun, action-packed day going around the heart of uh, Berlin, checking out the course and yeah, just taking you guys along for this really cool, fun, interesting training ride. Right, we're going to get some supplies for the run. Uh, yeah, get Sarah a helmet and then we'll see you out in the Tiergarten, which we're just coming up to now which is where the Berlin Marathon starts and finishes as well. Right guys, we'll catch you in a bit. So here we are, it's sorry, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. We're in the middle of the Tiergarten in central Berlin and along this amazingly beautiful avenue here is where the marathon or the berlin marathon starts and also finishes it starts and finishes pretty much the same place so uh, yeah apologies for the noise but it's just very noisy around here so yeah today i'm just going to head out on the route just going to take it super easy casually this is not like a sort of a training run i'm not trying to gain anything out of this other than just spending a little bit of time on feet and mainly learning the course and the route and how I'm going to be feeling going around and just looking for certain sort of trigger points and things I can use uh, when I see them again going around the course um, in the future. So yeah, it's about five o'clock now. It's, it has slightly cooled down a little bit and yeah, there's nothing nothing really else left to say. Probably, probably going to be about 20, 22 degrees right now and then yeah, hopefully cool down a little bit later on. And it's probably gonna be a bit dark when we finish as well. So yeah, right, nothing left else to say except let's get out on the run and run the Berlin Marathon. Right guys, let's get this show on the road. With the beep of the Garmin, we are off. Now it's gonna be pretty hard to follow the uh, marathon route exactly. There'll be a lot of crossing roads and yeah, this is probably going to come out quite a bit more than the 42k as we're crossing the first road here already after about 10 seconds and pause. So that's going to be a little bit of the theme theme of the day. Um, but I, I think I've got so much to gain out of doing this um, that it's going to be worth it. And you'll see, it's a bit like London Marathon, a lot of these routes they're pretty horrible routes because of all the car traffic, all the pollution and things. But you just want to be there and feel what it's like to be running around and seeing how we get on. Right, we've got 42k to go. We've seen a bit. It's a few little hills so far, going over some uh, some of the water, but feeling all right. So there's little things like that that you kind of know come race day. You know they're coming up and you know they're going to be there. So yeah, 4k just click there going about 418k pace, it's like just under seven minute miles. Uh, so yeah, you might have seen on some of my Strava, I'm annoying some cyclists, I think, probably shouldn't be running there, um, that I was on a podcast last week called the Inside Running Podcast that I'm actually listening to right now, not my episode, <laughs> yeah, that, that was, but it was good fun uh, recording. So yeah, if you wanna hear, a little bit of the backstory, a little bit 
about this journey and what it's all about and where we're going, what we're doing. Inside Running Podcast, I'll put the link down below uh, in the description of the video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. This run is going to be a funny old run. We've got some armed police over there. Oh, oh, oh. See that? Really does not buy. Good, I'm not, a, one of the, not one of those people to stop and look at accidents, but it's a lot of ambulances and police and everything there, so hope they're all alright. Uh, so yeah, Inside Running Podcast, check it out below. Following along because those three guys, well, actually, only two of them, because one of them got injured. Uh, Brad, uh, Julian, and uh, oh, uh, Brady uh, from the Inside Running Podcast ran Berlin last year and had a whole series documenting their trip or their whole build up up to running sub or going for sub 220 at Berlin Marathon. So, yeah, great podcast, great guys. Give it a listen. Right, we'll see you in a bit. into the run. Hello from Sarah. Hello. Who I've got to say a big thank you to. Thank you to cycling along today beside me, handing a few drinks out and of course getting some filming shots as well. So thank you Sarah. I couldn't do everything I do without an amazing lady by my side keeping me in check and basically doing helping me out in everything I do really. Never Anyway, I'm not a round lot about that. She's lovely. Um, yeah, so during the race, I'll probably be about one gel down by now. Probably going to be having gels about every 35 minutes. Always recommend gels based on time rather than distance. And about every 35, 40 minutes works well for everybody, whether you're running a marathon in six hours or with Kipchoge at two hours. It kind of works quite well. But yeah, feeling good. The course. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, hilly at the start, relatively speaking, uh, but it's really flattened out now. But really nice, just trying to picture it without all these stinky cars around on race day. But really lovely wide road. It's going to be fantastic out here in a few weeks' time. Right, we'll see you about halfway. 0.1k through the race and yeah, just under 410 kilometer pace. I don't know what those in miles, probably about 640-ish. But yeah, just gonna have a quick stop because we've completely run out of, oh, found the wrong one. Completely run out of water. Uh, it is a lot hotter than I said on the start line. I think it's still about 30 degrees out there. So poor Sarah can't carry enough water. So just nipping into Lidl, gonna grab a little bit of fruit, a little bit of water, and get back on the road. Yeah, because Sarah, she's got an electric bike. Uh, but still can't really keep up because she's got to obey all of the traffic laws and when you're just kind of running on the pavement I can kind of go wherever I want a little bit so yeah she's uh, struggling a little bit to keep up so but still doing an amazing job out there right I'm just walking aimlessly to get some water and we'll see you back out but yeah feeling good really enjoying the course yeah we're kind of running around through rush hour it's not the most fun it's not the best way to see the city but it's certainly the most fun k into the run which means that magic 10k to go this is where the magic well or the very very tough part of the marathon happens get this bit right and you'll be having the best day of your life but get it wrong and it's going to be the worst 10k the worst six miles ever and this is why i'm here really because i want to run through here feeling good i want to run through here with sarah behind me feeling amazing yeah we're going at a fairly easy pace today but i just want to be here feeling good things looking around looking at signs that i can use come race day attaching happy thoughts attaching thoughts of family what we've been through to get here 
just at buildings around. I know this sounds a bit crazy, but it really helps me on race day. This is why we're out here, to feel good during this last 10K of this run. Yeah, we're running very late at night now. Darkness has set in, but we're training for magic. We're training to do a crazy, crazy thing out there. Yeah, can it happen? Well, I don't know, but I'm working my damn hardest to get to race day in the best possible shape possible. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's why we're here. So let's enjoy this last 10K and take these happy, positive thoughts, this positive mental attitude that we can do this into race day. Think positive. Think of the pain we're going to be in going through this. Think of the legs burning and think of getting through, thinking of going through the Brandenburg Gate with 219 on the watch. Right, come on guys, let's finish this last bit off in style. Right guys, we're at the park run to go, 5k to go. When we set out on this, it did seem like a bit of a mad thing to do, but I absolutely love this run. Just messing about, doing aeroplanes, jumping over bollards, trying not to get injured, and yeah, just having a laugh, because as I keep saying in all of my training, I'm just here to have a bit of fun. If we run a great time, we run a great time. Fan bloody tastic. That's amazing, but nothing comes at the expense of being able to run every day or whatever for the rest of my life because I just love this sport, this community. Just look how happy it makes me just running through Berlin at 10 o'clock at night, baking hot. So yeah, let's uh, do this last little park run in style. And we'll see you at the Brandenburg Gate for the finish. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is the image that I've had in my head on every single training run I've been on in the last few months. All the greats of endurance distance running. Endurance distance running have run through here. Paula, Elliot, Harley Gabriel Selassie. I actually ran that year that he broke the world record running on these very streets. And who knows, maybe my dreams will come through running down here in a few weeks time. Wouldn't that just be incredible? Well, that's why we're here, to get these feelings, to get the emotions going, to be running down this road, chasing a dream and a time and just something I never ever thought possible. Never in my wildest dreams a few years ago. But here we are, we've run today, very casually, 4.05ish, K pace. It's just a jog guys, it's just a jog around a marathon. Never ever stop dreaming and see what you can achieve in your life. Right, let's get this, let's get this run finished up and we'll catch you back at the gate for a little catch up. Come on! So there we have it guys, Berlin Marathon, take one, <laughs> done. Uh, yeah, really felt pretty good out there. Um, we, the half marathon was only a few days ago. Here we are on Thursday. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really happy with the legs. 405 pace, 251 for the marathon. Obviously we did stop quite a few times to take on board drinks and things, but that was the moving pace. And uh, yeah, 146 beats a minute, average heart rate. So yeah, really nice. That's kind of really in the recovery zone, although I wouldn't exactly call that a recovery run. But yeah, lots and lots of fun out there. A massive, massive thank you to Sarah for filming and being up. She's obviously cycled um, around the marathon as well and stopping and getting drinks. So yeah, couldn't do these sort of things without her. And yeah, we got up at four o'clock this morning and I don't know what time it is now, about 11 o'clock at night. It's been such a long day, but what a way to spend it living the dream here in Berlin, running a marathon just for fun. It's kind of a bit surreal to even think that at times you just get out of bed and do something like that. But it's the training, it's the hard work, it's the relentless day after day after day after day of just training away for a dream, getting out there and getting it done. So yeah, guys, I'm just a regular guy living my dream and just, yeah, anything is possible out there. So 
the Brandenburg Gate is behind us. We're off. We're going to be in search of something very carbohydrate-y, something very cold. Probably in my case, a bit, a bit fruity and sparkling rather than something a bit stronger. But we'll see what we can find out there. But as usual, guys, thank you so much for following. The likes, the shares, the hats, the merchandise, the hoodies, the buffs, the plans. You guys are making this all happen and of course the patreon page which is now set up at the moment so yeah we've got some more people up there i'll put that all the new patrons up on the screen now thank you so so much uh i can't do this without you guys out there so yeah it means the world to me so i'm going to wrap the black wrap the vlog up here now we're going to have a day we're going somewhere extra special tomorrow so follow along tune in tomorrow we're gonna uh yeah we'll have a little little slight slight day and then something equally amazing again the day after so as usual guys thank you so so much for all the supports out there and i'll see you in the next one